Hey there, it's Matt Williams, and this is the Technovangelist vlog, day number 23, and I want to talk to you about security, assertion, markup, language, also known as SAML. And I also want to show you a really cool tool that I found for demonstrating it called One Login. So let's go ahead and get started. So why am I talking about SAML? Well, I needed to create a video for one of my colleagues at work, and he wanted me to show our SAML integration. But in order to do that, I needed to learn more about SAML and how SAML works and, and just SAML in general. So looking at Wikipedia, I can see that the single most important use case for SAML is web browser single sign-on. Okay, cool. So SAML. With SAML, there are three basic roles. There's the principal, which is the human user. That's you and me. Then there's the identity provider. And the identity provider has all the information about all the users in your company. And then the third role is the service provider. And the service provider is the tool that you're using. You know, it could be Slack or it could be Azure or AWS or, you know, whatever else other tools that you're using. And the identity provider, well, that could be Active Directory or LDAP or, in my case, one login. So the way this all works is the principal requests the service from the uh, service provider. Now, the service provider makes a request and obtains the authentication from the identity provider. And often when you see identity provider, it's abbreviated with a capital I, lowercase d, uh, capital P. So the IDP or the identity provider validates that the user is who they say they are. And then the service provider can then determine if the user is authorized to use the service. It's not the job of the identity provider to provide authorization. Um, it's just about authentication. Yes, you are who you say you are. Then it's up to the service provider to say, okay, now that we know who you are, here's what you're allowed to access to. So again, there's lots of identity providers that you can work with that, that work with SAML. There's Active Directory, there's LDAP, and many, many more. Now remember, I needed to demonstrate this in a video. Now, I've used Active Directory when I was a sales engineer or technical specialist at Microsoft. And I remember that setting that up well is hard. And then a colleague yesterday told me about one login. He said, you know, whenever I need to show a demo or just verify that certain things work, I always use one login because it is so amazingly easy to use. So I tried it. And it was, it is really amazingly easy to use. So I'm gonna show you a little demo of setting up SAML and using one login and Slack. So one login is my identity provider and Slack is my service provider. So let's go ahead and get started on the demo down here. So I'm gonna show you how to set up SAML with Slack and one login. But before I do that, I do wanna show you that you don't have to rely on an identity provider like one login. You can build your own. Here's an example of how you could build your own. This is by somebody named McGinnis on, uh, on GitHub. He's got a identity provider, which is really useful, as well as a service provider. So you can see both sides of the SAML process. But we're gonna use Slack, and I've already created a Slack account. This is a test environment I just set up about, about 10, 20 minutes ago. And I have gone ahead and bumped it up to the plus level of the service. So if you go in here, um, you can see that under billing, it is set to use the plus plan. I'm gonna go back to Slack. And then I've also created a one login demo account. Uh, so a free trial account. So these are the two things I need to get everything set with SAML and Slack. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come into Slack, go into the administration, and then click on workspace settings. So this is where I can uh, configure lots of different things, but I really care about authentication. So click on authentication and then click down on configure SAML authentication. Okay, so now I'm in and I can configure my SAML authentication. I need basically three things. I need a SAML 2.0 endpoint, I need a provider issuer, and I need a public certificate. Now, all those things are available in one login. So uh, I'm here in one login. I'm going to click on add apps. And there are thousands of apps, but I just care about Slack. 
So I want to choose this middle one, SAML 2.0 provisioning. The instructions for doing this are a little bit confusing and not entirely correct. So this is the way that you need to set it up. Click on Slack. And that's a good looking uh, icon and a great name. So click Save. And now come to Configuration. And the first thing I want to do is authenticate with the Slack API over OAuth. So I'll click on the Slack link. And it already knows that I am who I say I am because I'm logged in on a different window. And I'll click on Authorize. OK, so that looks good. Now I can come to Configuration and enter in my Slack team. It's called Test My SAML. And I'll click on Save. Cool. Now come over to SSO. So here's where I can find my SAML 2.0 endpoint. I'll copy that and paste it in right here. I need the provider issuer. And so that's this issuer URL. It'd be great if they use the same names and listed them in the same order, but no such luck. So I'll copy this issuer URL and put it here. And now I need the certificate. So scroll up a bit and view details for the X509 certificate and copy this and then paste it in right here. And we're almost done. I click expand the advanced options. And now I need to choose how my SAML response from the IDP is signed. I found that you only need one of them, but I found when I have a search and signed something doesn't work. I have no idea what it is. It's probably really easy, but I'm just going to uncheck assertion signed, just responses signed, and click on save. So now everything's set. Back over in Slack, um, I'm good to go. And in one login, I'm good to go. So let's go back to Slack. I'm going to close the administration area. And in my Slack uh, window, I'm going to log out. Sign out. Okay. So I've signed out of Slack. In fact, I'm not even close the window. And now, if I go to my app portal for my user, I click on company, and then there's my Slack service provider. I'll click on that, and it goes right into Slack. So I've lo it's logged me in automatically, and it just works. I think that's really cool. So now you see how easy it is to get started with SAML, one login, and whatever your service you're using. We use Slack, but it could be anything. Is one login a great tool to use long term? I don't know. I've used it for a few minutes today and a few minutes yesterday. But it does an amazing job of making something that should be really, really difficult, really, really easy. You should definitely take a look at using it in your own projects. And if you're a sales engineer or an evangelist and you do demos in front of large groups and you need to have single sign-on, this is definitely a tool to look at. So I made this video because I'm really interested in the topic. You know, I got interested yesterday and I found it was so easy. I just had to share it with you. Neither one login or Slack know about me. They didn't pay me for this. I just, in fact, I don't work for any of the companies mentioned in the video or the company on my shirt. I just talk about it because I think it's interesting and I think you should know about it. So if you find this video interesting, subscribe to the channel. You know, I'm trying to do this every day and this today is a little bit different than the last few, well, the last 22 days. So I've talked about all the things that I learned and today I'm talking about just one thing and going into detail. I think that's perhaps a little bit more interesting. It allows me to, um, to to understand a topic, which I have to do anyway, and then relay it on to you. And I think I do that pretty well. So again, if you really like this uh, video, click on the like button below. And if you want to see more of these going forward, click the subscribe button below, and that will uh, that will subscribe you to the channel, and you'll be notified as soon as I put one of these out. Again, I'm trying to do it every day. So, you know, subscribe and hold me to that uh, daily goal. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.